What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be part 5 of the growing um, peppers to cross breed. Um, we've got some unusual changes that I wasn't really expecting. I'm sure if you watched the last video you probably already kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but let's get right into the closet. I got the grow lights on right now so the um, lighting will be a little bit weird. It'll be very purplish but um, let's get right in there. All right, and so let's come on around. Let's start with the left side. Um, the thing that I wasn't really expecting this quick was the Carolina Reapers. We got two out of the three um, that have already popped, and they're really they're doing pretty good. They're not getting leggy, which is good. So you can see this guy right here, he's getting pretty leggy. Um, I went ahead and moved uh, this rack up as close as it could be without with still being able to access it. So hopefully that. That problem solves itself um, but if not I know that once we put it in the um, larger container and the root mass is able to really expand um, we'll be able to kind of mitigate that problem a lot more um, but you can see the lemon habaneros all three of those have popped two of the um, mini bell peppers have sprouted none of the bell peppers I'm not sure if they were old seeds or if they just take a little bit longer so I guess we'll just see about the mini bell peppers, or about the uh, the uh, normal bell peppers, I should say. Um, as we expected, those Thai chilies are just doing phenomenal. Um, getting a little bit leggy, but again, that'll be solved once we get down into the larger containers. Um, still got to figure out a way to to get all of them in here and um, still be kind of close to the light, but not super super close. Um, but uh, can no cayenne peppers yet? I, I could be wrong, but I believe those take a little bit longer, so we'll give them some more time. Uh, moving on to the uh, Caribbean red habaneros. We've got all three of them have popped as well. One, the one in the back over here, you can see, is significantly larger than the other ones. And the last one will be the orange habanero, which all three are almost about the same height. Doing pretty good. Super excited with the progress we've had, we have so far. Um, next week's video will be the replanting of ma the majority of definitely the ties and definitely uh, these uh, orange habaneros I'll have to get my um, other lights in here um, just so we have two two layers right now because as you can see we have this this side elevated for the seedlings and then over here we have our other plants that we are growing uh, I'm not really sure what this is but it's a house plant and so I'm just trying to root it right now and as you can see root balls doing doing pretty good it's just in a, the color is just from that rooting hormone. Um, put a little bit of that in there and then um, it's been doing pretty well so far. These, from probably from here up, is all new growth. So excited to see that. Um, the dragon fruits, as you may be able to imagine, are growing quite slow. They've grown significantly since um, putting them in. Actually, hold on one second. Let me turn these lights off. All right, okay, we can see a little better. There we go. Um, so you can see that they have, they're still green, still looking good. Um, but we have a little bit of size problems. I mean, th this guy is the only one that's really kind of gotten a little bit bigger. This one over here um, also has gotten bigger. It's kind of hard to focus when uh, I can't touch them. So, but again, there's a, those are doing good. Um, this little one down here might be a lost cause, but we're just going to keep watering it just in case um, something else happens. And then this is the uh, passion fruit, which I thought was going to be kind of stunted and uh, was, it may end up dying. But it looks like since we put it under the lights, it's got this new leaf has really broadened out. And then it's got another little shoot right there. So this is a vining plant. Uh, most people that grow it commercially will grow it on trellises. So we have kind of what we're looking for so far. I'm not sure if we're going to start out, try to kind of wrap it around and figure out what we want to do um, with that, but but we'll see when the time comes. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're all doing pretty good, very sturdy. Um, it's got a s very small stem, but for the size that it has, it's very, very sturdy. I'm quite surprised. Um, but super excited to see what happens with this passion fruit. Um, since it's indoors now, we can grow it here. Um, until the weather gets to be about, about 60s or 70s um, and then we can take that guy outside um, he, he's just in a probably probably like a half gallon pot pretty small pot but um, 
I think the weather and the lack of light was what was really stunting its growth because in the past week since I put it in here um, it's grown another leaf and it started this one so I uh, love seeing that again the pepper plants down here are doing great uh, we just waiting for those bell peppers and those cayenne peppers to see if they see, see if they keep coming on um, but we will keep keep you guys updated um, and that's gonna be it for this this video hope you guys enjoyed um, please leave a like if you enjoyed the content subscribe if you want to see the uh, future of these guys down here again we'll be doing um, cross-pollination experiments grafting experiments um, all kinds of stuff with these pepper plants um, bonchi eventually um, once they get to once they get a decent root ball um, or root mass I should say and a large woody stock but again doing great love to see it a little experiment pr projects happening in here honestly I wish I could switch these two um, plants for the uh, for the passion fruit to go in this pot um, and then vice versa just because it looks like um, this one's going to need to be transplanted pretty soon but I do have a bigger pot with a wider base that I think it, it'll enjoy so we'll get that guy in there um, and we'll get this guy probably planted pretty soon because he's a he's a very large uh, very large um, plant once it's uh, fully grown and continues to grow so um, and then again this guy right here we'll see what happens but I'm, I'm not holding out any hopes for uh, the little single transplant but if anything happens that's always a plus